Hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial. Today we will learn how we can use our plugin GIZ WooCommerce membership to build a video training site. In this case, your customers will pay to have access to all the video lessons available, while the non-members will only have access to see the first video lesson. The rest of the content will remain restricted. Now, before we start, please make sure you hit the like button below this video, subscribe to our channel and also click on the bell so you don't miss any of our videos. Now, let's start! Ok guys, this is our site's homepage where we have all the video lessons for our course. At the moment, if I scroll down, as you can see, all of the videos are accessible to all users. Anyone that access this site will be able to watch the videos. But the final result that we really want to achieve is that only the members that purchase our video course can have access to all the videos. And all the other users, including non-members, can only watch this first video that we have here that says free, a kind of introduction. So, to achieve this result, we first need to create our video course product. For that, let's go over from here to new and product. Here we can start with the product name, which in this case is going to be complete video training, develop as a box. Now let's move on to the product data section. In this case, this is going to be a simple product, but it is very important that we remember to tick this box that is going to be a virtual product. Now let's enter the regular price, which is going to be $4.99.99. Perfect. Next, let's continue with the product image and we click here to select one. In this case, I will go with this one and we set it as the product image. And finally, let's also enter a short description for our product. This one, perfect. Now we're ready to publish our product. Let's go over here and we click on publish. Perfect. Let's go now over here to this link so we can have a look. Okay, here we have it. Now we have finished with our first step, which was creating our video course product. Next, we need to go over to our Yeet membership plugin so we can create the membership plan. For that, let's go over now to our dashboard. From here, we find Yeet and we click on membership. Now we need to go over to membership plans so we can create our new one. And for that, all we need to do is click on this button, add new plan. Again, let's begin with the title. So in this case, we're going to call it develop as a boss. Now we need to enable this first option we have here, which is to allow access to this plan after purchasing a specific product. This is because we want to associate our new membership plan to the purchase of the video course product we just created. So we enable this option and from this next field, we're going to search for our product. In this case, our video training. Here we have it. Perfect. Next, let's move on to the permissions section. From here, we will be able to set which contents will be accessible to our members. In this case, we want to allow access to a specific page. And in this field, we're going to include all the pages that we want to allow access to. For our example, we want to enable access to our home page because this is where we have all the video lessons. So we select it. And with this, we're ready to publish our membership plan. So let's go over here and click on publish. Now we need to create an alternative homepage for our non-members so we can show them only the first video lesson, but for the remaining videos, we're going to include only a static image. To achieve this, we can actually copy the content of our homepage and with that create a new alternative content block using Gutenberg. So let's continue with that step. Okay, we have opened our homepage and from here to copy all the content, we need to go over to the three points to open the options and we're going to go over here and select copy all content. Perfect. Now we need to go back to our plugin. Now let's go to alternative content blocks so we can create our new one. And from here, we just click on this button, add new block. In this page, first we're going to enter the title, which in this case, I'm going to enter video training block. Perfect. Now, all we need to do is click here and paste all the content we copied from our homepage. 
As you can see, here we have the exact same content, so everything is here. Now, the next step is that we actually only want to leave this video available for the non-members, but now we need to remove all the rest of the videos and replace them with an image. For that, we click on the videos, we delete them, and then we need to add a new block. In this case, we're going to add an image. So we search for it. Here we have it. And we're going to the media library to select the image we want. In this case, I'm going to work with this one. Perfect. And this is the result. Now we're going to do exactly the same for the other two videos. Again, we delete the video and we add a new image. Okay, we have finished. Now all the videos that we don't want the non-members to watch have now an static image. Only the first video will be visible and available to all users. Now we can go ahead and publish our alternative content block. And now let's go back to our homepage. Okay, let's scroll all the way down so we can find the membership options to configure them right over here in this section. From here, we can decide in which membership plan we want to include this content. So in this field, include this content in the following plans, we're going to enter the membership we just created, which is our develop as a boss membership plan. Next, we will also find this option, alternative content for non-members. And from here, you will be able to either enter an alternative content text or load an alternative content block which is exactly what we're going to do. And to select the alternative content block that we want to show, we can go over to the next field. And from here, we're going to search for our video training right here. Perfect. This section here is actually very interesting because from the plugins general settings, let's have a look here from the plugin general options, we will also find this section to manage the access to the restricted content. As you can see from here, you can also set to show an alternative content. However, these settings will apply globally. While these settings will apply only for this page. This is actually very useful because it will let you decide if you want to override some of the general settings directly from specific pages, products and posts. Now let's go ahead and update our homepage so we can see the final result, both from the perspective of a non-member and then as a member who has purchased the video course product. Let's go ahead. Okay, this time I have opened our site from an incognito window, as you can see right here. Now let's scroll down so we can find out the final result. Let's have a look over here. First of all, just like we wanted, this first video is available to everyone. Now, if we continue to scroll down, we can see that the remaining videos are only showing the image. So indeed, this is the result we wanted to achieve. For all the non-members, only the first video is going to be visible. Now let's open our same homepage, but this time as a member that has already purchased the video course product. Perfect. This time to compare, I have accessed as a member. Let's first have a look here at my account. We're going to go over to memberships. And as you can see over here, we have our develop as a boss membership plan and it is active, which means that I'm already a member and therefore I should have access to see all of the video lessons. To confirm that, let's go back to our homepage. We can scroll down and as you can see, this time all the videos are accessible, which means that as a member, I will be able to watch all the videos that are posted in this page. Now, the best part, as you could see, is that it was very easy and very quick to configure all of the options using our plugin GIF WooCommerce Membership. Remember that if you want your users to pay a monthly, weekly or yearly subscription instead of a single payment, you can also use our membership plugin together with our subscription plugin. In this way, in order to have access to all the video lessons, your customers will have to pay, for example, $10 a month or $100 a year. The use of these two plugins together, subscription and membership, is one of the most powerful integrations in our plugin catalog. Well, that was it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you next time. Bye bye!